Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's meeting, co-creation. For those who are present and for those who are listening and the, at the next now moment, we're all co-joining our soul templates from all over the world. It's very powerful. I would like to address um, today's day because humanity uh, sets up to celebrate different things. And um, today is uh, Mother's Day, which is celebrated, um, I think, in North America and maybe Western Europe more. Um, was not part of my tradition um, in Eastern Europe. But I would anyway like to address women and also the feminine polarity in all men with a prayer that if we have children and if we want to have children I pray that we seek the guidance from within us, the guidance that is divine, the guidance, the, the, the guidance that is of the self, through the self, by the self, the self as the ultimate reality, the love, the light, the wisdom, and the will of the one. May this humanity rise to the task of humanness so that we can be parents to our children. First of all, parents to our own identities. Once we connect to our higher selves so that the identity, the human that is seemingly lacking the human that is seemingly broken, the human that is craving love, attention, mothering, is rehabilitated through the light of our consciousness so that we rise and create a civilization of unity, of love, of support, deeply guided by the divine principle. So it is. And we can just start going into the process. If you're seated or I would not recommend lying down because usually you fall asleep. You can just sit comfortably, connect to all, connect your consciousness and zoom into your body. And without modulating your breath, just Feel your breath. Feel that divine element of ensoulment. Our soul is directly connected to our breath. And we are winding down the field of the mind in order to allow a much more real access to our innate 
divine nature. And draw all of your consciousness more to the back body and especially into the spine. Just move into the spine. And allow this invocation, it is a, an asking to connect to your higher self, your soul. I am presence. Your solar Rishi self. And your ascended master self. Your mother, father, God. And as we co-join our soul flames, only the highest love, wisdom, and the will of the one can come through this space in a form of teaching, healing, transmutation. So it is. And just feel that your spine is lit up with this light blue electric light. As if you were this multidimensional, very refined being of light. Zoom into this spine. And you know that your entire body is within your divine consciousness. The body is within your divine consciousness. As you're opening, opening, opening your field of perception. And the more you slow down, the more you are open to your true nature. With a breath, just draw your attention to your solar plexus just behind your belly button. Inhale. And with the exhale, just step in that space between your spine and your belly button. And visualize a light blue flame, a flame similar to a gas stove flame, blue, light blue, and just feel that flame burning in that space, and as you are connecting to this quality, Just visualize be a beautiful white light around it, around the blue flame. And just notice your multidimensional awareness. You're following the guidance. You're feeling your body. You're not escaping to any space and your attention is baptizing this miraculous space of your solar plexus.
to stay there. There's this blue flame. And it's surrounded by the white flame. And we are moving further. Visualize in this space a beautiful Merkaba, which is a, an upward facing triangle and a downward facing triangle pushed together. So it has six vortices. This is a blueprint of your light body and start spinning it in the middle of your solar plexus. It's highly empowering and highly beneficial for cutting all of the cords. Subtle cords. Connections, energetic connections to things, places, people that are not for your highest good. And just feel that you're easing into your body. The higher you go in consciousness, the lower you need to go into the shadow, into the animate subconscious and unconscious aspects of your being. There's so many levels of, to your being from higher dimensional emanations all the way to this body. And also your pre-emanation self prior to embodiment. It's all here. It's all here at once. And start spinning this Merkaba. Actually, whatever the spin rate, the upward triangle is spinning in one direction and the downward facing one spins another one. So it's creating the correct, correct spin rate for the Merkaba. And see the Merkaba actually spinning within the pranic channel, which is your spine. Just visualize it as a, a river of light blue electric light. beautiful river you can start playing with it as you see we are actually slowing down so that we can truly truly awaken invigorate revitalize the body vessel know that you need to have the necessary energy vitality alertness the willpower of the soul in order to be a high consciousness being. Mostly our, our consciousness is being dulled by the overlays, energetic overlays of tamas, sluggishness, lack of willpower and of course <laughs> our mind is that which is ruling the body's tamasic elements i'm just going to first describe and then we'll do the next step together we're going to inhale. And as inhaled at the level of the solar plexus, see how the Merkaba is speeding up its spin rate. 
in the center of the body, solar plexus, your power center. And then with the exhalation, we're going to exhale this Merkaba star into your heart, the back side of your heart. You inhale, feel it in the solar plexus and exhale into the heart. Push it up. And just feel your heart space is being activated with this beautiful Merkaba spin, the center of your heart the back side and just feel that it is wonderfully reconnecting you to your seed atom, your organic seed atom, the creative force, the creative germination of emanation. It's beautiful. And just see that your heart is being lit up. It's beautifully lit up with this electric light blue white Merkaba. Every out breath is helping you to move closer and closer to that space of freedom, to that space of nowhere to land. to that space of originary completion. Mm -hmm. Just feel into it as the Merkaba is harmonizing, spinning, 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 six vortices. Light blue electric light. Feel that you are getting a sense, getting this deep remembrance. It's a Kriya, Kri action. A Kriya that connects you to your deepest remembrance of wholeness. Just notice that this is that space in your heart. The back side of your heart where you remember your wholeness. What is that sense? Inquire, what is wholeness? It's here, right now. It will never be in the future. <laughs> you will not attain it because it's right here. That sense of complete cessation, stopping of the impulse of something is missing. That is one of the most essential trainings that we can embark on. This immediate knowing of our wholeness, completion. Ask yourself, is there a desire? And there, there may be this one last desire in order to fully surrender 
into the heart of the Cosmic Mother. And it's not a longing. It is that impulse of I allow. Hmm. Feel it. I allow and I'm willing. It's almost like there's an abyss and you're standing at the precipice, precipice of your heart and you just go, let go and you're falling into a place without a landing. Moving deeper and deeper into the layers of the sacred heart. The Merkaba vehicle is taking you and all you need to do is allow true merging, the merging of all of your cells into the one cell. These words are pointers. They have a specific energetic signature. And that energetic signature is that which is guiding you to remember, to know, to imbibe, to abide in your true self. And just feel that the Merkaba itself, as it's spinning truly fast, faster than light speed, because we are moving into the subatomic particles. We're moving into the scalar intelligence of our seed atom. Notice that you are everywhere. You are the very stuff. of all phenomena. And of that which is non-manifest. Just feel that your light is emanating from this heart space. The Merkaba turns into a ball of light because it's spinning so fast. And your entire hologram is lit up. It's lit, lit up. And it's starting to collect, merge, magnetize all of the 15 dimensions of your emanation. Every single cell in the Ananda Maya Kosh, the bliss body, is being reactivated. We 
We have five bodies. Adhering. To the 15 dimension. Every single body. Has a tri wave intelligence. We started with the last one. 13, 14, 15 dimension, the Ananda Mayako. Just feel how you're being baptized by this lightless light. It's activating your heart space, your seed atom. And then it starts ascending those layers underneath it. The Vidyana Mayakosh, which is the wisdom body. Twelve, eleven, ten. Dimension, the wisdom of the self, the Mahatattva, the mind of div divinity is here, that which is creating, it's not separate from you, it's one with you. We're reconnecting to all of our intelligence. The wisdom body, Vidya, Vidyana Michael. We move into the next one, Mano Mayako, which is the emotional and the mental body. Nine, eight, seven. Lighting it up from the source of your being. Dissolving all of the coagulations. The contractions, the density, the tamasic elements. And the rajasic elements. I cannot stop moving. I cannot stop completing tasks with rajas and tamas would be I don't want to move. I am stuck in looping thought patterns that are debilitating my actions. <laughs> what a paradox, huh? Mm.
moving through all of the spaces of the Manomaya Kosh, emotional, mental body, lighting it up, harmonizing it with its highest emanation. So important. You can speed up the Merkaba spin rate, the center of your heart. And then we move into the Pranamaya Kosh, the energy body, five, four, three, sorry, it's four, five, six. They're adhering to the dimension. Clearing and activating all of the dormant energy. All of the layering of your hologram that is stagnant. Especially the tailbone region. The sacral region. And your solar plexus region. Just move the Merkaba. You can replicate the Merkaba from your heart and put it into your solar plexus, into your sacral, and into your root. Light blue, electric white light. And all you see is spinning balls of light, removing their spin rate is removing their the stagnant energies from these chakras. Allow your body to be fully relaxed while these highly energetic processes, energetic, astral, causal processes are taking place. If there's any disease in the body, It's now being removed by the light. I asked the, re the rejuvenation of the telomeres, of the neuronal pathways, of the vagus nerve. the lymphatic system and the blood. If you are releasing energy through any ways like burping or sighing, or you need to move your body, do so. Just feel that your entire body hologram is receiving this immense, vital energy. Electric light blue, white light.
and we move into the last layer, which is called the food body, Anamaya Kosh, which is literally your physical body, seemingly physical. It's still energy, but it is the densest manifestation. Just feel your body. Do not evacuate. All of the 15 dimensions. This is one, two, three. The body. Hmm. So we have a Merkaba light ball spinning in your room spinning in your sacral, spinning in your solar plexus, spinning in your heart, spinning in your throat now, spinning in the center of your head. And your crown. Harmonizing all of your places of emanation throughout 15 dimensions. And know the seed atom, the placeless place, the scalar emanation of all of you starts from the back side of your heart. The place of origin. The harmonization is still taking place. Allow the healing as you're slowing down and you feel that you're now connected to source, your body, this planet. We are going to strengthen the pranic channel, the altar of God, the spine. Visualize that you're standing underneath a waterfall of light, electric white light blue light. You can let go. You can allow the karma to be washed. All of the aversions and desires. The content of the chitta. is a storehouse of your impressions from all lifetimes, timelines, washed out. It's a clean slate. Nothing to achieve. Nowhere to go. And just feel that your breath is breathing you. It's the last phase of the Kriya, very simple. 
rudimentary. Inhale. And exhale. Every exhalation is expanding your awareness, consciousness, beyond energy, beyond time, space, locality. Every single out breath is cleansing, freeing, of all the contraction. Inquire in this space of openness, what causes, what causes you to contract? Is it a thought, a feeling? sensation, a shallow breath, a momentary pain. This is how we connect to the willpower of our soul. Omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. It's all inside you. The body is inside you. The world of phenomena is inside you. Feel that the river, that your pranic channel created is widening. It's like a river of light. And it's wide now, not just as your spine, but as wide as your body. And you just allow this effulgence, this waterfall, of photonic liquid light, hydrophotonic light, plasma, consciousness, to reactivate all of the layers of your blueprint, all of it. Notice that as you are being breathed, there's this miraculous knowing, a miraculous connection of all that you are. It's a direct teaching a direct embodiment, a direct knowing. It's never 
outside of you. <sighs> the waterfall of light. Electric light blue, white light. had expanded your pranic channel as wide as your body. And it moves all the way down from your root chakra into your legs, knees, calves, feet. Into the earth, into your earth star chakra. And it's spilling into the crystalline grid of this planet. Feel your root chakra. And as the light is guiding you from your root, crystalline white electric light. Connect and be guided to connect to all of the sacred sp spaces, all of the sacred power spots, power places. Throughout the world, through the crystalline intelligence of the ley lines, you are the body of this planet. You are the body of the universe. You are the body of the cosmos. And you are the body of the bodiless intelligence. If you feel heat in your body, that's a sign of karma burning, density leaving, a transmutation by the light, through the light, for the light. So that you are the self one with everything. Just allow the last phase of your blueprint implementation to take place. Allow, allow, if you feel any sensations, allow. We stop now the transmission of the pranic waterfall. Just feel the space above your head. 
underneath your feet. To your right, to your left, in front of you, and behind you. Just feel the body. You can slowly open your eyes.